Hey guys, as here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to the sponsored slot of today's video, which is of, of course, Loot Gaming. So this is the monthly service that they send me a loot crate. Let me unbox it for you guys, show you what I get, and encourage you guys to sign up with my code down below and use the code at checkout Huzzy Games for 10% off. And now if you don't know what it is, basically Loot Crate in general, they have different packages. So I've got the Loot Gaming one. They've got Loot Anime. They've got Loot Wear. They've got a lot of them that you can sign up for, ones you like, and you just get sent random things that kind of go into a theme every single month. And I kind of like it, you know, a lot of the time, I've got cool things from Loot Crate. I probably never would have bought them myself, but I've got them now because of Loot Crate. So anyway, let's get into it. So unlike last month, I actually do have the microphone near my mouth so I can actually do a proper unboxing. Uh, and this is going to be the first time uh, me seeing it while I'm recording. So hopefully you guys will enjoy. Okay, from the get-go, I can definitely tell there's some Overwatch stuff. So there is just the overview. So we'll go with the very obvious little pop figure type thing over here first. So there we go. There is an Overwatch Tracer Loot Gaming um, electric blue little figurine. So that's pretty cool. Everybody knows that I collect them. I've got some above the shelf that over the camera you can't see. Got plenty up there. So this will definitely fit in. I think it honestly looks quite good in the box. So I might keep it in the box. Usually I never do that. But because it's kind of a small figure, I think the box helps to like make it a little bit bigger. So I think I might do that. So that's pretty cool. Next thing, let's go for... This, I have no idea what it is. I presume a mouse map? It looks to be. Uh, let's try and open it if, if there is an opening. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. There is. So I will say, obviously, if there are mouse mats and that, I probably won't use them, uh, considering I'm sponsored by Steel Series. But maybe a friend of mine would want it instead. Uh, and that's the cool thing as well. You can just give it to friends and stuff. So there you go. There is a Prey mouse mat. Honestly, material-wise, it doesn't actually feel bad. Um, you know, mouse mat to mouse mat, but you know, it actually feels kind of good. It's got the anti-slide technology at the bottom of it, so it won't slide around. So honestly, pretty good mouse mat if you don't have one. I'm sure a lot of people will be like, oh, I could have done with one of those a while ago. Okay, t-shirt of the month. So every single month, I believe you get a t-shirt. you got to obviously give them your t-shirt size, and then they'll send you it uh, in the box. So there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. A Tron t-shirt. I'm actually a big fan of the Tron movie. The original is obviously the best one. But I even like the second one that was made in like 2008 or whatever. I like the playlist and the, and the soundtrack towards it more than anything. So I will definitely wear this Tron t-shirt. It's also just to kind of add a Loot Crate exclusive. Like the Zelda t-shirt that we got a couple months back. It means that you can't go out and buy this specific t-shirt. So it's a little bit rarer. It's a bit less common that you'll see people have it. So I'm actually a big fan of that because I, I, I love Tron. And I actually say, even if you're young... And I think it was from the 1980s. I would still highly recommend Tron, the original movie. I think it's brilliant. And then finally, oh no, not finally. We'll show you actually the pin. Again, every single month they give you a pin. I have a big collection of them now. So there we go. And it also tells us that the, the theme of today was future tech. So everything in there is future tech. So you've got Prey, you've got Overwatch, you've got Tron. So all futuristic. Got your pin which I'll put up there for now because that's where all my pins go. And then nearly finally, we've got two more things remaining apart from the box itself, which we'll put over there. So we've got this, which is a big Mass Effect Andromeda LED lamp. So we've been given a lamp, apparently, um, which is quite rare. <laughs> kind of odd if we've actually got like a legit lamp. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Be right back. Okay, so I've actually turned off the lights for a split second. All the light you're seeing is from my monitors. Uh, but here is the lamp itself. And you might be like, what the hell is this? Well, boom. So it's even way too bright still. The camera's not picking it up well. So I'm going to turn off both monitors for a split second. Hopefully that shows it off. I literally can't see what's happening in the camera. But honestly, that's pretty cool. I am not a massive Mass Effect person. But I'm sure people would like this for their gaming lamp on their desktop. So anyway, be right back. Okay, we're back in the light. And then the final thing that you get every single month as well is a poster, which usually has really cool artwork. And remember, the, the theme today was future tech. So what type of poster are we having? So it's this side. So what is it? Let me just quickly look what it is before I show. I have no idea. I presume that's maybe Mass Effect. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. But there you go. That might be Shepard. I've, I've no other name Shepard in it. And also on the back, it just tells you everything that you get each month. And also tells you the Mass Effect. 
well, actually this month, it was a Mass Effect Andromeda Logitech Epic Drop. So every single month there is an Epic Drop, you have a chance to win something really cool. And this month it was a Logitech Mass Effect um, mouse mat, headset, mice, and a keyboard with an estimated value of $500 there. So that's pretty cool. You have a chance if you do enter this. So just to kind of go over what we got, we got the uh, Overwatch Tracer, cute but deadly figure. We've got the Mass Effect Andromeda LED lamp. We've got the Tron t-shirt. We've got the Future Tech coin. Uh, we've got the Prey gaming mat. And then that's pretty much it. And then the poster. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, if you do want to get yourself some kind of cool epic gaming goodies, uh, use the code down below with my code Huzzy Games, and you'll save a little bit of money and I'll make a little bit of money. Uh, but obviously you don't have to do that. Every single month I do these anyway. If you just want to kind of see what I get, that's cool too. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the upcoming video where I play League, I guess. Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. So welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series that we take a Smurf account, fresh account, never played Ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the loot uh, crate, loot gaming segment that I do every single month. If you skip it though, no big deal, because uh, now we're playing some League of Legends. So I am going to be trying to get Lee Sin today, and uh, for those that are like, I wonder why. Uh, yeah, Godfist. <laughs> I've, I've been pretty hyped for this skin. So if you, if you don't know, if you're relatively new to the channel, uh, well, well, even that, like, I haven't been, like, a proper Lee player, I don't know, for a year, maybe? Uh, but before Season 6, pretty much every single season of Ranked, apart from Season 1 and 2, uh, uh, Lee Sin was my most played champion always. Uh, he was probably my best champion mechanically, um, and I, for some reason, just dropped him last season. I just didn't really play a lot of Lee. Gangplank kind of took over that slot. Um, so I've, I've been actually looking for an excuse to start playing Lee Sin again, and let's be honest, Godfist is, like, the epitome of what a Lee Sin player is. Like, it's it's really cool. Um, and also, you know, it, yeah. Uh, so if it's not first picked, I will be playing him. Yeah, we get to play Lee Sin. Um, so, yeah, he, the, it's, it's cockiness. Like, the Lee Sin, the lines, the summoner lines itself is kind of cocky. And I think that kind of summarizes Lee Sin mains, to be honest. Because uh, I, I remember I used to be cocky. You know, people say, you know, was I ever? Yeah. When I played Lee <laughs> a lot, uh, when mechanically, like I, I was just confident that I could pull stuff off, and I think that's why they went with a cocky route with the legendary Lee Sin skin, because most people that are going to probably play this skin a lot are probably going to be Lee mains. Uh, obviously, there may not be, but chances are there will be. Okay, so Jax lock, Galio lock. See, the thing is, Galio is being played both in top and mid, and a little bit jungle and a little bit support. So we don't that him first picking Galio doesn't actually tell us anything. Jax also doesn't tell us anything because it could be top or jungle. Twitch also could be jungle or AD. So it's a bit up in the air right now where people are going to be going. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of the Vayne pick, but I guess it would be it, it can work. Um, but I just think there's a couple other safer options out there, especially when you're kind of picking earlier on. But hopefully, well, they might be just a vain player and that's what they play, to be honest. And also Riven, that can go either very good or very bad. And then their final pick is should unveil where people are going. Okay, so I would think, I would think it's Fizz mid. And then it's between Galio or Jax, top lane or jungle. It's one of them, one of them, you know, somewhere, somewhere. Twitch AD and Lulu in the support role. Um, Jana, you got heal. Hopefully she notices she's got heal. We really could do a not double heal. We really needed an exhaust for the Twitch. Is she going to notice? Find out now on today's episode of Unranked to Diamond. Hey, she did. Uh, but there we go. Team comes locked in. We're playing Godfist. Let's get on the loading screen where we go and break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. And as you can see, my team has a 50.5% chance to win. But let's break it down. The enemy team have a uh, jungle Galio. So I was actually wrong. Uh, he's jungling, uh, who is Platinum 1, a Platinum 2 Lulu with a negative uh, win rate, a Platinum 1 Jax, not played the champion yet, Platinum 4 Fizz mid, and a Platinum 1 Twitch uh, AD carry. On my team, Platinum 3 Lee Sin as myself, Platinum 2 Riven, pretty good win rate in KD for a Riven, uh, Platinum 3 Vayne, not a crazy Vayne player, which again is kind of rare because she like early picked it and then it's not like a, a Vayne main or anything, but that's fine. Platinum 3 Janna has not played the champion and a Platinum 2 Orion with a pretty good win rate. So without much further ado, let's get in the game where we are playing God Fist Lee Sin. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we are playing Lee Sin using the brand new God Fist Lee Sin skin. Look how cool it looks. I'd admit the walk is a bit, or the run is a little bit weird. Like, he's, like, going to the side. But, no. The the, the the animations, how the skin actually looks. Like, he's literally smashing the ground and it's breaking beneath his feet. 
all of that is just really goddamn cool. So, yeah, I'm kind of hyped for this skin. I bought it on, like, you're so hyped, people will notice. I bought it on this account. Like, I, I, I said a couple of episodes ago, I'm not purposely going to buy, like, you know, skins on this account. Bought this one. Uh, I've bought this one on now three accounts. So, uh, yeah. I keep the lights on at Riot Games, apparently. Yeah, let's go for that. So, who do I want to help in the early game? Like, Riven's attempting one. She's actually gone Thunderlords. Okay. There's, like, two playstyles to Riven, mainly the Fervor or Thunderlords. Would I have gone Fervor versus a Jax? Maybe. Also, bot lane, I think, is fairly gankable when I'm level 6. I could try and hurt that guy. Oh, I just noticed he's got V2 in his name. So he might be a smurf or his like, main account got banned or something. Hey. He's kind of really, like, kind of in, in a weird way evil, this like, Lee Sin, which is kind of cool. So if, so if I go quiet occasionally just to like, listen to what he's saying, then yeah, I apologize. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to go for a relatively full clear, I think. Because Galio... I don't know, he shouldn't be able to do anything in the early game, I wouldn't think. Not crazy amounts of people play smart. Okay, making use of Lee Sin passive, which is every single time you use an ability, make sure you auto-attack twice in between, so you're maximizing your attack speed and energy regen and stuff. I haven't played Lee in a while. I'm trying to think when was the last time I played Lee. Maybe... Did I play it in the A to Z series? Maybe. All right. So I think we'll get a fairly good grasp early on who's going to do well on my team and who might not. Usually you do. So pushing in, which is good. Top lane's even. He's actually gone for the Doran's shield, so he's a little bit scared. Bot lane, Janna nearly dead and actually dead. So that's a bad sign. Like I mentioned, fairly early on, we'll probably notice who's going to do good and who's going to do bad. And already... We uh, have spotted potentially a weakness on our team. Oh, Galio is actually already ganked. He's like looking for another gank. He's still in there, I would say. Are you kidding me? I got juked. Hey, that's good. All right, I'm on my way. What are they doing? Not sure if I needed to flash that, but I'd rather just get the kill and be done with it. He's gone back or he's gone up that way. Wait, he's already TPing. Let's go. Hmm, that's fine. He TP'd back into lane as already lower health than my Riven, which means Riven has total lane control. So even though we don't get the kill, that's perfectly fine. So that's nice. Mid lane also got a solo kill, so I think that's good. All bot lane has to do is basically survive and get um, Vayne to an okay like mid game. And I think we're pretty much okay. Oh, I love you. That's really good. She shouldn't overstay though, because Galio has already been top lane like a little bit and has like stayed to camp. So the likelihood of him wanting to be top lane is quite high. But I'm not entirely sure, but I, I believe my Riven did know that Galio stayed. Because it was really obvious when he did. Uh, I Hopefully you guys will see it as well. Uh, if not, go back and watch it. And again, this is what you can do in these commentaries. You can go back and when I say stuff, go back and see it for yourself. And go, oh yeah, I see. When he did that gank, you actually saw Galio, instead of going down that way, you actually still saw him loop around again. Which means he's staying. Even if he just goes in there and bases, it means he's likely to be around. So you just kind of go in passive mode for a second or two. 
I'm gonna go bot lane in a second. Just wanna get level five before I do. Nice. Okay, I'm on my way. Hopefully there's a blasting plant available. But I want it, baby. Get that pushing into the tower. All right, so far so good, everybody. This game's going quite nice. Okay, let's actually do a little bit of a, a little bit of a confident play. We'll just go into their jungle a little bit, considering Fizz just died again in a one v one. He's half CS. We just killed bot lane, so we can do. We can be a bit confident here, right? Just get vision down. That's fine with me. Um, so he's going to just do red buff straight away. Lovely Riven. That's what I like to see. Oh, I got spotted. He's like here. Not any vision anymore. She just chunked him. Oh man. Did I get ignited? I'm pretty sure I got ignited. I'll take it. Lulu got the kill. I got a kill on Galio. It's not ideal. I thought Fizz was actually going to go back. Oh, that was a really close tornado. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. You're 2v1. Well, not anymore. And Lulu got red buff. That's not good. Don't know if she needed a heal when she did, but okay. I guess I'll go bot lane again. Yeah, that was me playing overconfident, I guess. Well, kind of overconfident. It would have been fine if uh, Fizz didn't come. If it was 2v1, I think I would have killed Galio and got away. But, alas, Fizz arrived. And I died. Still got a kill, though, so that's good. Dude, I love this skin, though. The effects are so cool. It, like, I don't know. It kind of suits Lee Sin to a T, I think. You. I was scared they were actually going to go back then. Like, get away. Alright, I'm going to do Dragon. Because I may as well. Um, but yeah, I've just got too much pressure on the map right now. Especially, like, I'm doing really well in the, in the bot lane. I, I made a mistake and I made up for it, basically. And that's, that's kind of what I try to do as a jungler. If I'm ever like, ooh, sorry. I will try and just make up to that lane what I did bad. So what I did bad, obviously, was give um, Thingy a kill. Um, gave Lulu a kill and red buff. Damn, I think we should have gone for that. Oh, Oriana Zoom. Never mind, it's not her fault. I was like, why didn't we? Why aren't we going aggressive? No mana. What the hell was he doing? <laughs> that fizzle. What the hell was that? Also, just to notice uh, her name. GG Nerf Katarina. Yeah, they're not on Katarina. I always find that funny. Don't know why. Alright, so Lee Sin. Uh, obviously, he's known as a very good early game jungler. And you, you are seeing that this game, obviously. But you, you do find in mid-late game, a lot of people have the wrong idea about him. That they think he's completely, 
useless uh, after a certain stage of the game. No, he's not. Uh, basically, he changes. Like, if you if you snowball, then it doesn't matter. You'll just snowball and you'll be doing damage anyway. But say you get to late game and you're like even kills and even gold. What do you do as a Lee Sin then? A lot of people are like, I, I just don't know. I fall off. You just become utility, basically. You're the guy that helps people survive uh, and you get kicks off. You're an initiator. And you just kind of just change into that role, basically. I want him to use E. Tanking it for her and then get out. Oh, what a play. Nice. That was really nice. Let's push it in. I at least want to force Jax's TP, but I also want to get first tower. Do you not want it? Okay, use my passive even. like A lot of time people go, why is Lee Sin just randomly using spells? You can kill that. No, maybe not. Oh, she can, she can, she can. Oh, she didn't. She mucked up. She used a, She used an extra Q instead of just auto-attacking. Use auto-attacks there, Riven. A lot of Rivens who are, you know, again, use your passive. Your passive makes you do more increased auto-attack damage uh, in between spells. Oh, that's disappointing that he got two. Damn, he shouldn't have got two. He should have got me because he actually used Flash for that and Ignite. We got mid tower, which is good. But yeah, um, yeah, he shouldn't have got Riven as well. It's not a big bad thing, but it's annoying. I think I'll go bot lane again in a second. I don't know if Galio's actually ganked with his ultimate yet. I'm actually not sure. Okay, I'm going bot lane. See if I can clean up some scraps. Uh, Galia's back here. Where's Twitch, do you think? Like here, maybe? Yeah. Okay, Fizz is here. I keep pinging the wrong one. Fizz is still here. I'm letting Orianna push and then we can go after. Take the free kill. That's bad. Trust trying to pressure bot lane because look at top. Like she's there. So you may as well like just pressure the other side of the map when there's so much pressure elsewhere. Now let's go and do blue, I guess. Oh, there's Galio ult. I think that was the first time he used it. Um, Boot-wise this game, I don't know. I should maybe go Mobies with how much I'm doing in, like, general map pressure. Like, I'm not just picking on one lane. I I'm going everywhere. Well, not everywhere. I haven't really been mid lane for ganks. But I've been top and bot, which is oddly kind of weird. Like, usually you don't gank two places the other side of each other. But this game I have... Because it's just the way that it's been. And it's worked that way. But yeah. All right. She got a solo kill. That's really nice. Got this Riven. Is... It's Riven. What? Is really ahead. Yeah. She's finally got control back. She did whiff her ultimate there. Which isn't good. But. Galio just got a solo kill. A zero. At the time. A zero one four Galio got a solo kill on a Riven. I guess she just overstayed. 
Okay, I'm gonna go over like down here because I presume people are gonna try and help. Yeah. Are you kidding me? And I was right. This game has actually been kind of predictable a lot of the time. Okay, she should back off. Okay, I'm staying with her. If she wants to stay, I'm staying with her because Twitch will just assassinate her. Staying with her, staying with her, staying with her. Alright, you're in your own hands now. If she dies, it's her own fault. I'm going to go do a bit more farming. Got 3,000 gold, so I need to make sure I use it, but I'm just going to do a little bit more. Uh, can I finish Black Cleaver? Yeah, I can. All right. But this game's going quite well. Like, I've, I've been really enjoying this game. Back on Lee Sin, baby. Um, I don't know. Like, I still don't exactly know why I dropped him. I know in one patch that I was playing him, he wasn't performing great, and that might have been a, a, a reason for it, but I don't know why I just didn't pick him back up. Because he's been really popular recently. Like, without even this skin, he's been really good and popular. Bit too much. But look at that! Look how cool I am! <laughs> oh, alright. We got Mobies. Alright, so, so now, what should we do? What's their comp? Mm, they got both. I'm, you know what I'm tempted to do? And it's actually something that a lot of people go, Huzz, you should, you tell people not to do that. I'm doing it. I'm going GA. I'm playing aggressive this game. So having GA will allow me to go in. Um, and also it gives me both resistances. So, yeah. Normally I wouldn't do this, but this game it just makes sense. Other times that I've seen people do it, doesn't make sense. This one it does though. Okay, 680 smite damage. That was really quick. Oh, he had smite up. I didn't have smite at the time. That sucks. Okay, I'm going to go bot lane because I presume Twitch is going to try and assassinate the vein. Okay, Galio's in there. <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Damn. Fizz arrived at the wrong time. Well played. Like, the quad of the League of Legends, man. And again, someone... I, I know people don't like me saying it because I might say it often, but I've played this game for a very long time. The quality of League of Legends has gone up so much in the recent years. It's ridiculous. Like, this is like, what, low diamond platinum? This never used to be like a rating that you'd look at mechanical play. You see it all the time now. It's, it's very impressive. And it's even more impressive to me because I know what it used to be. It's crazy. It's it's awesome. I like to see good play in like lower ratings. It's nice. It means that like the community as a whole is getting better, which is awesome. I don't understand why a Galio's taking the buffs, by the way. Like, I've taken some of them this game, because I'm performing quite well. Did I really miss that? Okay, 
I missed a really, 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 really easy thing then. Oops. My bad. Um, I forgot what I was saying completely. Oh. Oh, mama. Screw that. Alt M. Oh, I missed. I think Oriana should have ulted quicker. Like, just ult him before he got the E off. I think that would have worked quite nicely. Twitch could try to loop for me, but I doubt it. Mm-hmm. What's this? 880? Yeah. Nearly got it. <clears throat> they should be careful. They still have Oriana. Oh, no, they don't. She used it. Oh, that's a dead Jax. Why? Did oh. Okay, Twitch is down there now, too. With Galio and Fizzle. Hmm. I think we, I don't know, maybe need to be just a little bit more careful. We're all playing extremely, extremely aggressive, which is fine, but you've just got to have calculated aggression. Whoa, she one-shot him. Oh, did I just kill myself? I killed myself. I shouldn't have pressed Q. I didn't mean to. Balls. That was a mistake. I'm making a couple of mechanical mistakes now. Maybe my concentration levels have dropped. I don't know. They shouldn't have. You have to be careful. Surprised he didn't go for that if he was close. Okay. That sucked. Uh, let's actually have a little quick update on the game. So, Riven is 100 CS ahead. I'm even with Galio. Maybe I, my farm should be higher, but in, in, you know, I've been involved in 12 kills. So, I've been involved in 50% kill participation, which is not bad. Uh, comparing to Galio, he's been involved in 8. So, he's actually kill participation's higher, but there's lower kills in general. Mid lane, 70 farm up, which is really good. Bot lane, 30 farm up, which is good. So, this game is going fine and dandy. It's a shame that we haven't had the dragons that we've wanted, though, like Infernals and stuff. <laughs> How did I miss that? As I said, I'm making mechanical mistakes at the moment. I'm going to go up to Oriana. They're doing dragon and they can do it without me. That's fine. Oriana! Did she not pay attention? She's okay. Phew! Hey, we got an infernal, finally. In five minutes. Where did Twitch go? Where the hell did the rat go? Oh, down there. He's full health. I was like, oh, I'll finish him off. He's low. Nope. Riven didn't actually hit him at all. That's surprising. Interesting move. All right, we need to do stuff. We're not actually doing anything right now. Hmm, apart from going alone and just dying.
Right, let's do this. The three of us can do it really, really quick. So GA is basically just allowing me to have full confidence doing whatever I want. I haven't even used GA yet. Because it's also, we have to remember, GA is also an off-putter. Um, for people to actually kill you in the first place. I was waiting for Oriana. Um, because they'll be like, okay, let's kill Lee. Oh, he's got GA? Oh, let's not, let's not kill Lee. He's just going to come back alive. So it, it's a really nice off. Why did I just buy another phage? I'll go Triforce, whatever. Ignore the build that I'm doing. It's not a good build. I, I completely blanked out and I don't know why I bought a phage. Maybe I won't complete Triforce. Maybe I will. It's not a terrible item on Lee Sin, technically, because it gives you burst, but it's usually one you'd want to avoid. Comparing to other items, anyway. Oh, she hit him. Dude. <laughs> what? Like here? No. Where the hell did Fizz go? Oh, she went, he went top. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Sweet. I'm trying to make him use E. There we go. Go roll him up. Randomly got taunted. Let's get this in here. I don't have flash, unfortunately, so it's going to be hard to get onto that twitch. Okay, we should just leave. We've got two inhibitors. Go top lane. We I'm gonna keep farming though. <laughs> like, how am I missing these? I don't know why they're bot lame. Again, spread your pressure out. Pretty sure I can push against this guy, especially with Baron. Split pushing Lee Sin. Um, I don't want to split push, but I think they're fine. And also, this is where we technically should just be anyway. So, this game's gone well. Well, I didn't even know his veins 10-0. Nice. So, that's going to be game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. This was Godfist Lee Sin. First time me playing this skin. Really cool skin. Uh, it's definitely put a little bit of a fire under on my butt to play Lee Sin some more. Hey, we got the inhibitor and then the game then. So yeah, really like the skin. It's really nice. Uh, and actually, the game itself went well. We had a lot of pressure in top lane and bot lane in like the early mid game. And then that transitioned into people getting strong. And then we just won the game. Pretty much that simple. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I did. Uh, and I want to say there'll probably be another Lee Sin episode relatively soon. Maybe in like 10 episodes or so. Mainly just because... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Everybody noticed it yet? <laughs> uh, we'll go over it in a second. Uh, we went 7, 4, 8. We got an A+, plus, not an S, unfortunately. Uh, we gained 25 LP, and we're on 99 LP. Hell yeah! <laughs> Man! And as for damage done, we did an okay amount of damage. Uh, you know, okay for a Lee Sin, basically, because I was just setting up the early game, and then mid-game or late game. I was just kicking people, basically. Uh, but if you did enjoy, uh, throw a like on the video. If you feel my pain of being on 99 LP, throw a like as, as well. That would, that would be great. But yeah, if you did enjoy, yeah, let me know what champions you'd want to see other than Lee Sin. Again, if you want my gangplank, I know people want to, you know, that type of thing. Leave it down below. Uh, share this video with any friends if you've got any, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.